In my thirties. In my thirties. Ashley Choi. Ashley and I are both the same age. We're different by three days. Maybe I need to start dressing my age. What? What does I that mean? Thinking that too. I know. I know. It's silly. Hmm? Do I look way too comfortable right now? I think I am. It's fine. My socks. <laughs> That's like a dun dun dun, dun. moment. <laughs> All right. Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. This is the first video going up on my channel. So In I want 2024. Yes. So I wanted to introduce what this new series is. I talked to you about it, but it's called In My 30s. I plan on discussing a specific topic with a friend who's in who's also in their 30s and to kickstart our very first episode, we have Ashley Choi. Hello, this is Ashley Choi, Ashley B. Choi. On Instagram, on YouTube, TikTok. That's it. Twitter, the way, Ashley B. Choi, Anya? No, it's LC underscore oh. underscore Ashley. <laughs> Ashley, yes. introduce yourself. I'm Ashley. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm, I'm, I have been Joan's friend slash hubby since 2016. Um, 2016? Yeah. It's not 2015? 2016. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm really bad with years though. Ashley's very specific with like, oh yeah, we did this activity in 2017. I'm like, I don't remember. No, I have pretty bad memory too, but I don't know. Like, with ears, you're pretty good. With ears, yeah. Because I think I connected to like another memory from that year. Yeah. But anyways, um, yeah, so I've known Joan for a long time now. I used to be in a K-pop girl group called Ladies Code. We debuted in 2013. And now I'm the host of a radio slash TV show at Arirang. And I also do Dive Studios podcast called Get Real. And I have a YouTube channel too. And an Instagram channel. I mean, you do a lot yeah. of work on Instagram. Yes. You do. So Ashley pretty much does everything. <laughs> she really does. You name it. She's probably done it before. Like I didn't even know you acted before and you, got, you were casually talking about being in a drama. And I was like, no. I didn't know you did that. No, but that was like just my company just used me as a little extra it was it wasn't my will it was like hey you want to be in the drama as an extra i was like okay i didn't know how much work and waiting it would be but i mean it was a good experience yeah, yeah. you got that experience down and that could be like a good two two truths and one lie kind of oh, thing right yeah. when you're like drinking with your friends <gasps> that's true like, i've been in a that. drama before mm -hmm. yeah and just like you know Mm, that's that's a good fun, idea. Right? Okay, I'll okay. do that from now on. Doesn't this feel very official with these mics? I know. It's kind of nice though, right? Reporting to you live. <laughs> this, this was my dream, guys. Okay, so it's already the end of February. Oh my god, I thought you were going to say it's already the end of the video. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was like, what? No, 30 <laughs> minutes. 30 minutes for... For the series. Oh, because it's 30s. Yeah, in our 30s. Oh my god, you and the YouTube duration times always since like 2022. Yeah, it's 2020. Oh my god. During COVID. <gasps> oh, right, 2020. It's because 2020 to 2023 doesn't really count because I know. those are the it's COVID like, years, right? It was a blur. But yes, it's the end of February. And originally, I planned on filming an episode about New Year's resolution as the first episode. Mm -hmm. But due to my lack of motivation, and procrastination, I didn't get around filming that. Let's talk about our motivation or lack of motivation. You go first. I feel like I used to be more motivated than now. Mm. I think in my 20s, I worked really, really hard. So in my 30s, I'm just kind of reaping the benefits of that mm. and just kind of chilling, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So like even for this channel and starting this series, I was like very motivated at the end of last year. And I was like, next year is going to be like a transformation on my YouTube channel. I'm going to film way more. And that's why I planned on filming this series. But then when the year came around, I just didn't feel like motivated enough. Mm. And I was like, oh, I might have to scrap this entire video idea. There's pressure to upload and then there's also pressure to make like better content. Right? Yes. Like, you have to constantly show like an improved, upgraded part of your um, self or your content. So I feel like doing the same thing over and over again, it's like 
I feel kind of like, okay, do I start need to like put out content content that's fitting for my age? Right. Like there's that pressure too. Yeah. Because it's like vlogging, just doing showing my everyday lifestyle may be fun, but at the same time, I'm like, am I not like, am I not progressing? Like, am I just staying still? Like that's life though, mm. right? I kind of relate to what you said because. I've uploaded like hundreds of videos on my channel and I just like don't know what to film. Mm -hmm. And there was a point in my life where I was like, oh, I need to like go to a different country just so that I could get different like new content. Yeah, new content. I was like, I need to change my hair color. Mm. My hair, I need to cut my hair. Oh my God, during COVID, we were changing our hair so much. Your iconic blue turquoise hair. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> like I just felt like there was something I needed to do to make the vlog look different. Mm. And I think last year or end of 2022, there was like a turning point in my life where I was like, I need to take a break on this. And I'm still kind of taking a break on the vlogs, but I've been vlogging here and there on like TikTok or Instagram mm -hmm. reels, but I don't think I could go back to vlogging for YouTube just yet because I don't feel like my life has changed. I mean, girl, you used to upload a video every day. I, <laughs> I don't think, I can I can't do that anymore though. I can't compare to you like No, but no no, but I can't do that anymore. I mean, but you shouldn't. I mean, you shouldn't have <laughs> you to. <just> like, <laughs> you already did that for one so whole year, 365 videos. I know. And maybe it's like you're feeling less motivated cuz it's kind of like you're burnt out. No, for sure. And that's like one of the questions we got mm. asked a lot. Burnout. Talk about burnout in your 30s, how to cope with it. How do you deal with, this was my favorite one. How do you deal with burnout in the realm of content creation? Mm. That's like a dun dun dun, dun. moment. <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel? Well, I mean, um, you know how I started adulting series in like when COVID started? 2020. 2020. So um, during those two years, there were no events there was nothing really going on, no traveling. Mm -hmm. So that's, I think that's how I was able to focus on vlogging. And, um, you know, I had fun with it because it was my first time as well. Mm -hmm. And then in 2023, when things started to get better and brands had more events going on in real life, I think I started transitioning a little more to Instagram, like focusing on Instagram content, right? Mm -hmm. So thankfully, as I was getting burned out from vlogging and doing adulting series, I kind of transitioned over to Instagram. Mm. So that kind of helped because it wasn't, it's not the same, like vlogging yeah. and filming everything. It's just pictures or like mm -hmm. reels, which is like short form content. So that helped a bit. And you're great at Instagram content. I feel like, okay, the thing is, Ashley and I are both the same age. We're different by three days, yeah. November 6th, November 9th, mm -hmm. but she feels more young in her Instagram post. No, but you know, these days I'm starting to think like, oh my God, maybe I need to start creating content. My, maybe I need to start dressing my age. What, what does I that start mean? Thinking that too. I know, I know it's silly, mean? but I'm like, do I have to start acting more like poised and graceful and like, you know, because I don't know, I do see other content creators around our age and mm -hmm. they're um, working with like bigger brand names because they're a little more mature. They're not mm. like, <laughs> I know what you mean. You though. know what I mean? Absolutely. Like, they dress a little more mm, elegantly. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. here I am like, and they're younger than us. Some of them are younger than us and they're oh, yeah. working with like, you know, yeah. big designer brands, which is great. Good for them. But mm. I don't know. I know. So it's always like, mm. oh, do I need to dress a little more like, age appropriate like but what does that mean how I are know. we supposed to dress in our 30s it's it's I really de it depends on the person right yeah yeah and yeah at the conclusion i've come to is like i'm just gonna I'm just going to dress the way I want to. Like, yeah. I, I just need to be myself because even if I dress like that, I'm not going to feel like myself. Yeah, no. And I'm going to start acting weird. Like, I'm going to be like, <laughs> hello, hi, like, how can I help you? you I know, know what you mean, like, though. And it's not, I'm not like that. So. For sure. Yeah. Wait, what, 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 what got us here? We were talking about burnout. burnout. And then Instagram. <laughs> oh, yeah, Instagram, content creation. Mm. Oh, yeah, but you're you're doing such a good job like i look at her instagram post and i'm always like how does she think to do this and like the whole concept of 
photo dump kind of scares me sometimes because I'm like, <laughs> do I upload like five different outfit pictures or five outfit pictures with the same outfit, but like different poses? Do I add a selfie in there? But she like has like this whole like formula. And I actually saw TikToks of like carousel mm-hmm. formulas oh, about really? like, yeah. What? There's like food picture, selfie, picture with somebody, and then a scene, like a scen- scenario, scenario. Oh. and like a video. So I, I look at those TikToks and I'm like, and I go, Ashley is doing the right thing. <laughs> <laughs> but here I am being like, I don't even know, I don't even know how to come up with a caption. And Christine Subini was mm-hmm. like, Oni, you always just like black heart for your captions, but I literally <laughs> can't think of one. How do I think of like a clever Gen Z thing to say? But you're, you do such a good job. No, I... <laughs> girl, oh my gosh. Those captions take forever. Oh my gosh. Like you want to sound cool, but you don't want to sound like you try too hard. Too hard yeah. You don't want to sound like you're trying to be too Gen Z because people are going to yeah. be like, okay, like, your age. what are you doing, auntie? And like, <laughs> oh, it's so hard. Auntie. No, literally. So hey, like, 32 is still young. No, there's this one person that always comments, a 32-year auntie dresses so cute. And I'm like, is that a diss? Or? I think it's like a backhanded compliment. Oh, that's like, I've compliment? never seen a 32-year-old auntie so cute. Well, you Look. haven't seen that many 32-year-olds. <laughs> Wait till you meet our friends. <laughs> We're all like just kind of living it up, to yeah. be honest. Um <laughs> Dude, we still didn't really, like, answer the first question. Girl, how do you deal with burnout? I started YouTube in 2012-ish. So I've been on this for, like, over 10 years, I would say. And seeing how much change there has been in social media. So, like, it was just YouTube for me then. Mm -hmm. And then Instagram was for fun. Mm -hmm. And then now there's TikTok. And, like, there's just, like, a lot of things. So I think, inevitably, I got burnt out. And my way of coping with that was just don't do it. Mm, no, <laughs> I just but, like took a break. Yeah. Or I would, if I took a break on one social media, mm-hmm. I was consistent on another. another. Mm-hmm. So I just try not to pressure myself too much. It got to me at one point, but I was like, you know what, whatever. <laughs> no, but sometimes you just need to like cold turkey stop everything because yeah. one day you're going to get that motivation to mm. start again and absolutely be like okay that's i think today it's time to get back into it right instead of trying to force yourself to like why am i not feeling motivated i need to do something mm-hmm. and like forcing yourself to do it burnout is inevitable no matter what profession you're in i feel like all my friends in the states who have like nine to five jobs or they're business owners or i don't know there's gonna be burnout no matter what mm-hmm. so the best thing to do is give yourself a break or a vacation in between because there's like, I don't know, motivation. No, wait, what is it? There's inspiration that comes after you treat yourself or give yourself a break. I feel Mm. like, right? Yeah. And when I had a burnout from YouTube, like I didn't watch other YouTube Mm. content creators vlogs because it was a constant reminder to get back into it when I did didn't have the like desire to so after not watching videos and after not thinking about it for Mm. a while kind of just get the urge to start doing it again if you enjoy doing it like if it's yeah i'm with you on that too i actually haven't watched youtube in a very long time like Mm. your tokyo vlog like brought me back onto youtube i really just did not watch youtube Mm. um i feel like i'm just like on Um, TikTok or Netflix. Yeah, so you're just focusing on TikTok right now. Right now. I mean, I can't even say focus because I haven't even posted a TikTok in like five days. And that's like long in terms of TikTok algorithm. Exactly. (laughs) No, for sure. Um, So I I guess that we, I think we answered burnout. Yeah. Yeah, I think there really isn't much to say. Yeah. (laughs) Just, yeah. Yeah. Just just listen to your heart. (laughs) Do you want to pick a next question? A lot of people are anxious about being in their 30s. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Were you anxious going no, into but like, your 30s? Okay, 30s, being anxious about turning 30, I can understand. But mm-hmm. I do also get a lot of questions like, what would you say to your 23-year-old self? Oh, yeah. Like, what, Do you have any advice for 18-year-olds? <laughs> and 
I mean, I'm I'm grateful that they're asking me for help, but mm-hmm. at the same time, I'm I'm trying I'm thinking to myself when I mm-hmm. was 18 or 23. I don't think I thought about like, oh my gosh, like what am I doing with my life? Like, really? Yeah, I was like, I'm still young. I'm gonna enjoy life. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm gonna speak for the people. <laughs> Because when I was 18, I was stressed about going into my 20s. And in my 20s, early 20s, I was like, am I doing like something meaningful with my life? Like, what am I going to end up doing for the rest of my life? (gasps) Really? Yeah. But back then, we didn't have social media. So there were less people to compare myself to. So I think everyone was just focused on their own, you know, path. And for me, I was, I didn't think Mm. about, okay, am I getting left behind? Like, (gasps) Am I? Oh my gosh, really? Yeah. See, this is why it's nice to have two different perspectives because I was a stressed one year old. So I'm like, why are they stressing out already? Why are they, why were you stressing for y'all. out already? <laughs> no, why? I get that though, because for me, towards the end of my senior year, a lot of my friends and classmates, they all got like really nice jobs, right? Mm. And so for me, I was too busy comparing myself to their opportunities, Mm. even though we were studying different things. Now I look back and I'm like, oh, I think I went into, I know I went into the right field, but at the moment I'm like, oh, do I need to go into business? Do I need to like start looking into like consulting jobs? Because that's where a lot of my friends went. Mm. And so I was extremely stressed and compare it. I compared myself a lot to um, friends then. So for me, moving to Korea was kind of like an escape. Mm. (laughs) I kind of wanted a break from that corporate life because I did work jobs when I was living in the Bay Area Mm. for a bit too. And then I was like, oh, I'm so burned out. I kind of want a fresh start, a fresh scenario. So I originally planned on moving here for one year and it became, Mm. I'm going into my 10th year now. (laughs) Wow. Yeah, I was extremely stressed my early 20s. And so personally, if I were to answer the question of what would I say to young 18-year-old Joan and young 23, 25-year-old Joan, dang, what would I say? (laughs) (laughs) I I mean, right now, knowing knowing the result, I'll be like, okay, you're going to be okay. But in the moment, it just, I don't know. Just say, I would just say have fun and have explore, fun. make mistakes. 20s yeah. is all about that. And, yeah. you know, you're, you're learning and you're trying to find your identity. And, of course, it's going to be hard and you're going to feel lost. But I feel like no one's going to say, like, oh, my God, you're in your 20s. You should be, you know, figuring out what you're going to do with your yeah. life by now. It's like, okay. They'll say that in your 30s. Yeah, so. have fun. <laughs> like, just do whatever you want. Try all the things you want to try. Right. So what was the question? <laughs> if you look back at your, your 20s, 20s, are you proud of where you are at now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I am because in my 20s, I was... It, it seemed like there was no hope. What? Like, I didn't know what I was going to mm. do with my life. And I didn't know what was, what was going to happen. Yeah. Um, in my 20s, I thought I would move back to U.S. after my contract was over. I thought I would get married and just, like, settle down and married? have kids. Because I was like, what else can I do? Like, right. you know, all I, I don't have, like, a diploma, like, a mm. college diploma. I, I don't think I could get into anything new. I mean, that's what I thought. I was like, all I know how to do is just... Being, being a star. Being, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> it's true, though. Being in a K-pop group. And I was mm. like, what am I going to do after? Maybe teach English? Yeah. Like, but I would have never thought that, you know, these opportunities would come my way. Mm. Like, um, doing the podcast and being able to start YouTube. And then, thankfully, having people be interested in my life and interested in my journey. Um, you so, don't yeah. give yourself enough credit, though, for <laughs> how interesting every- <laughs> how interesting you are. Like, I know. Do I say this in every single video? Like, every time I talk to Ashley, I'm always like, I don't know how you went through your experiences. Because I could not have become a K-pop idol. Because knowing my personality, I would have been angry. You never know. But if you got started early, you know, you kind of get brainwashed. But also, like, I, like, don't think I could have handled it because I can't have, like, a boss. 
<laughs> oh yeah, you know that I mean? you have to say yes to yeah. everything. Like, oh shit, well, did my camera stop recording that? It oh. did. What were we talking about? I've been doing YouTube for this long and I still forget memory cards to the studio. It's, it can't be helped. I it know. can't be helped. There's too many things. Okay, high okay. five. Back One, to two, it. Three. All right. So where were we? I don't even know. I think we kind of needed that break in between. Yeah, let's, we were just let's like rambling. <laughs> Guys, being in my 30s, I need my heat pack on my menstruation days, okay? I can't live without it. You needed it in your 20s, Ashley. <laughs> what are you talking about in your 30s menstrual cycle? You always, she has like four hot packs. One I in do. each pocket, one on her back, taped to her back. <laughs> Well, you know what's crazy? This winter, I really didn't need heat packs that much because it wasn't that cold. True. In my 30s, kind of like your hot pack thing. Yeah. I used to never have like period cramps and mm -hmm. I used to never blame anything on my period. <laughs> but now I get a hangover. I was like, I'm on my period. I'm going to be on my period. Yeah. Or sometimes I have like cramps that I used to never have. Mm -hmm. um, and also like... I feel like the week before my period, I don't want to do anything. Oh my and God. that's usually the time I need to film stuff. Oh, you know what I mean? And you feel so ugly. Like you hate yourself. Yes. And everything you do is like, what the fuck? Yeah. No. I know. And when you snap out of it, it's usually at the end of the period or the week after your period, you're just like back to life, motivated. And so you have like a list of things you want to shoot. And when it's time to shoot, it's like back to feeling ugly again. Yeah, it's so <laughs> funny because like right before period, I'm like, fuck, like I hate my life. I hate myself. Right after period, I'm like in the mirror like, oh yeah, yeah. I look good. Like that, I've seen her do it. That range is crazy. It really is. It's the hormones. So we only have like one week of normal life yeah maybe like four days <laughs> because what is it it's it's you you're on your period and then after period it's like you're kind of okay and then you're ovulating right mm -hmm. right in the middle mm -hmm. and then you're preparing to be on your period for a week and then you're on your period so i think it's like two four <laughs> days you're just like i'm my best self right now <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll just answer the main question, main topic. Okay. How do you stay motivated in your 30s? Mm. How do you deal with procrastination? Or how far ahead do you plan for? Honestly, I just kind of accept it. Like, I, I think I've just accepted that, oh, this is how I know I'm an adult now. Like, I have responsibilities and I can't let people down. Yeah. So I got to just work and I can't be a baby about it i can't cry about it anymore yeah. um and also i think family has to do with it too um i feel very happy when i'm able to like provide for my family or mm. like buy something for them so that kind of serves as a motivation too and i don't want to have to lean on them anymore because they gave me so much like they were always providing for me in my 20s because you know i didn't have like a regular job yeah um so now i just want to be able to give back to them and also like take them on vacations and holidays um, so when I'm really feeling like I don't want to do anything, I think about like, okay, I need to, I need to, I need to, you know, like do nice things for my parents. Yeah. And then that helps. Yeah. That's a good motivation. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Mm. Are you more afraid of taking risks now or are you more bold taking risks? I wouldn't mind taking a risk like in my 30s. Mm. Like I think that idea excites me but i just don't know what that is going to be yet mm. i think i need like a little bit of like a transformation during this decade so might be taking a risk soon or later i don't know never thought about it we'll mm. see we'll see another question or questions that i got asked a lot about was being single in your 30s, do you feel more or less pressure to find a romantic life partner as you get older? Can you see yourself being married in your 30s, being single in your 30s, romantic relationships, and so on? So this is all going to be up on her channel. So that wraps up the Q&A <laughs> portion of feeling motivated. Hopefully this was helpful. <sighs> I'm like trying to think, did we give any like substantial, useful answers? But we say this every time, like, there is no answer. There is no like, answer. And we're still trying to figure it out, too. No, yeah, absolutely. Like, adulting is going to be forever. Yes. Forever and ever. All right, to wrap up this series, I wanted to ask, 
because this is a monthly episode, mm -hmm. a monthly favorite from this month. But <gasps> yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah. But um but since like we didn't film this in January, yeah. you can also talk about your oh. January favorites. <laughs> okay. Shall we go get it? Do we have to go have get it? it? Oh, you don't have oh. it. Okay. <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> All right. Um, I've been living in these sweats, these mm -hmm. jogger sweat pants from Gloney. Yes. Like this charcoal gray colored and the quality is super. Like it's thick um, and it holds the shape well. So it's really cute when you wear it with like a crop top. Oh, yes. And just like sneakers. Mm -hmm. It's casual, but it makes it look it's like elevated casual because it's not just like a uh, sweat. It's kind True. of like nice sweats and it's comfortable. <laughs> and I've been living in those, so I wanted to talk about them. Should I go next? Yeah. Um, there's this lip product from Hourglass that I have been obsessed with. I'm wearing it today, but this is a little bit too far. What is it? Like it's, a, um, let me go bring lipstick? it. Lipstick? Let me go gloss? bring it. You guys can still you hear me. You didn't tell me about it. No, I took a picture of it. No, I didn't. I sent you a link. Oh. It's this did. one. I actually don't even know what it's called. It's in the shade Entice, but it's a very pretty, glossy color. Oh. I don't know if they can see my lips. Yeah. It's like a really Cute. pretty, it's a really pretty color that mm. I've been wearing like mm -hmm. often. So there's a favorite. Okay. Well, let me go get, <laughs> let me go get a lip product too then. It's fun because you can literally talk in any, I know this you is could... so cool. My lippies I've been enjoying are these. This is from Dear Dahlia and it's the sheer dew lipstick mm -hmm. in claudia and then i have this oh glossy lip gloss wow you I'm used a lot of them that. right now mm. oh lippies are fun i love lippies can never have too much and it's different like every month like your mm -hmm. favorite lippy changes mm -hmm. by month um and then last yeah. one is sunny's sunny's cute gentle monster mm -hmm. from their jelly collection so cute Oh, we yes. went together. We did. <laughs> and we're going together again next month. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is cute. Dada. It's in Dada. This oh, is yeah. also available in like different colors. Oh, yeah. I did Dry January. That was oh, a yeah. favorite. That was amazing. I don't want to lose to alcohol. So I needed to prove to all my friends because they're like, Joan. You're I an think alcoholic. You, and I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> I don't get hangovers unless I'm on my period. <laughs> Good job. Um, yeah. Good job. So there, there's that. Oh, big favorite, Taylor Swift. Oh, yeah. We're so sad that you couldn't go with us. I had major FOMO. I know. But. I cried. One day. Maybe we'll go to a different country for that this I year. I <laughs> just want to experience her concert because I know how insane it is. Yeah. She's like so good live. Was it better than you expected? Yeah. Oh. And the thing is, I watched a lot of TikTok videos of like. The concert mm -hmm. but it like doesn't matter if you watched it <gasps> there or not oh my gosh yeah. oh my gosh did you cry i did cry i feel like i'm interviewing right now. <laughs> i know i did cry i cried the moment i heard her sing lover mm. that do you know that song yes i was actually listening to it today today yeah oh it was, my gosh it was part of a playlist oh okay yeah. cute yeah so that <laughs> that song made me cry enchanted made me cry and then all too well made me cry because mm. that's a that's a good one. Mm. The Swifties must be so jealous right now. <laughs> Dang. All right. I think I think that's good. Mm. How do you feel about this? Are you excited it's fun. for the audio? <laughs> yes, I'm just really excited to hear how my voice will sound in this mic. I know. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned on her channel. We don't know when it will come out. But just don't do any special edits. Just chop, I mean, chop, chop. Yeah, and for this go. one, I don't have okay. to do too many. Yeah. 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 I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. Yes, yeah, we'll do it. So watch Ashley's video for all the stuff about relationships because that is going to be, that's going to be, I'm going to, I'm going to have so much fun. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Thanks for watching. Belated, but happy new years.
it's not that related because it's hard. Yeah. So I that's I also feel guilty about this because I'm like, oh yeah, New Year's resolution starts on Lunar New Year. Yeah. January is a trial month, you know? It is a trial month. 